In Osaka, Japan, there's a Universal Studios theme park that has a very unique addition. <laughs> That's right, Super Nintendo World. I can't believe this place exists. Growing up playing Super Mario games and Nintendo games, I can't express how exciting this place is. Hey, we're here. The feeling is overwhelming. When you enter this park, you feel like you're inside a Mario game. It's almost hard to believe how realistic it looks. The attention to detail is staggering, and they make great use of vertical space to cram in tons of detail in a relatively small area. Let's talk about the coins. The coins look so realistic, I feel like I can just reach out and grab them. Although you can't collect the coins like you do in the game, you can still punch the question boxes. <laughs> This never gets old. I've been dreaming to be able to punch one of these boxes ever since I was a kid playing the original Mario Brothers. In order to collect coins and keep track of your progress, you have to buy one of these wristbands. And then you can sync your wristband to the Universal Studios app to keep track of your progress. More on that later. I also want to mention all the little details you can find everywhere. If you take your time to look around, you can find hidden Pikmin, hidden enemies like this shy guy running around. There are even these telescopes where you can look through the telescope to get an augmented reality version of the space where you can spot even more secrets. Of course, the Mario Brothers themselves are also walking around the area. We met Mario and Luigi, and we met Toad as well. Let's move on to the rides. The first one I recommend is Yoshi's Island. When you go here, you get a great view of everything from above. The ride takes you all over the Nintendo Land and you get to see lots of little secrets on the way. And oh boy, let me tell you, they really went all out. You can find almost every single enemy, every single item you can collect, and everything is meticulously recreated in appropriate scale. The whole park is a meticulous effort to immerse you into the world of Super Mario. It's a love letter to fans who have spent so much time in this virtual world to finally experience it in first person. Next up is Bowser's Castle, because this is where the Mario Kart ride is housed. When you're queuing for the ride, you get to explore all the little details of Bowser's home. It was a Wednesday, so we didn't have to queue for very long. Here you can see all the Mario Kart trophies lined up. As you venture further into the castle, you will find Bowser's study. Here you really get to experience what Bowser is doing on his free time. He spends a lot of his time reading books and planning for world domination. He also has the actual Yoshi's Story book. Hmm, not surprising, but he's very obsessed with Princess Peach. This book here, How to Talk to a Princess, makes me feel he has a very soft side to him. Perhaps Bowser is just misunderstood. Or maybe not, because right in the next room you will find all the tools of destruction and how he assembles them. The Mario Kart ride is super fun, although I can't show any video from the ride itself. The way it works is that you wear these augmented reality glasses, where you can see the 3D characters through your glasses but you're still driving on an actual real-world track. The goal of the game is to steer your go-kart while also aiming and shooting at enemies. The way you aim is that you look at them and then you click a button on the steering wheel to shoot a turtle shell. In the end of the ride, they tally up all the points that you've collected. You get bonus points for consecutive hits and you get minus points for hitting friendly allies, such as Mario or Luigi. The opposing team is Bowser and all the little Koopalings, but you can also find secret enemies to hit for extra points as well. Safe to say it's a very competitive game and they have leaderboards and everything so it's actually really fun and has tons of replay value. Now let's talk about the food. Of course they made a Mario themed restaurant. What else would you expect? Inside the restaurant you have Toad and all his friends prepare food for you. This place also has tons of little details. On the walls you can see all the ingredients that they use for making the food. The menu itself is quite creative. There's Bowser's steak, there's Yoshi carbonara, I ordered the Mario bacon burger, Kana had the mushroom pizza bowl. They also have kids' meals, of course. It all tasted pretty good, and you get to keep the little decorations that come with your meal, which to me is a little added bonus. All right, so about the bracelet. So the bracelet lets you keep track of all the things you collect throughout the Mario land, but it also gives you access to a ton of mini games as well as a final challenge with Koopa Jr. if you collect enough keys. 
Each key is linked to a little mini game, and there are six in total to collect, but you only need three to gain access. The mini games are quite creative and fun, but not too challenging, so even the youngest child can challenge them and win. <laughs> you got the last key, yes? I think so. That's the last one. So we just got the third key, the, la key. the last last key. So now we can challenge Bowser Jr. Yeah, yeah. Yalla, yeah. yalla. <laughs> Are you ready to beat the Bowser Jr.? A lot is at stake, okay? <laughs> If you decide to go, I really recommend to get the bracelet because it gives you access to all these minigames as well as this exclusive area in Bowser Jr's castle. The bracelet costs about 3,800 yen, which is about 30 US dollars at the current exchange rate. Bowser Jr's castle ends with this nice little showdown where you team up with everybody else to take him down. Before we exit through Princess Peach's castle to go home, we go visit the gift shop one last time. End of our day, we picked up some goods, some merchandise, question box, <laughs> with a fire flower. We got a soda with it. It was a 2,000 yen Coke, but at least we get to keep this cool cup. Next, we have a uh, Starman cookie box. Cookie box. I got this again, mostly for the cookie box, not for the cookies inside. <laughs> Finally, we have more cookies. We have an assortment of boxes. Yes, so, so we uh, can use this as a decoration. Yeah. Well. I had a super good time visiting this park, and it's a pleasure to be able to share it with all of you here on YouTube. If you like this video, definitely check out some of the other videos that I've made traveling around the world, as well as embarking on all kinds of adventures. All right, that's it for us. Bye. Bye.